It's a quack attack as game day goes west next. In Eugene, Oregon, the fans were fired up. A showcase game for the Oregon Ducks program as UCLA comes calling. Welcome, it's just after sunrise on the beautiful campus of the University of Oregon. And this is College Game Day's first trip to a Pac-10 campus. We were there two years ago when the Ducks and the Bruins played a classic. It's a little different scene here in Eugene. Chris Fowler, the Horse Oaker, Kirk Street, or since we're coming to you from the home of Animal House, it's Dean Wormer and Douglas C. Niedermeyer. Oh. They are very proud oh. of the Animal House connection. We'll have more on that coming up. They make fine wine up in this part of the country, but this is not a wine and cheese crowd. No, they're, ready. Ready. they're ready. They're ready to roll. Chris, last year the Pac-10 had only one football team that fi in the final 25 finished in the top 25. The mighty Oregon Ducks. Yeah, they were sensational. This is a tremendous home field advantage. 16 straight wins. They have the duck poles going here. UCLA using the no respect thing. They cannot believe they are underdogs to a team that's beaten Nevada and Idaho. Oregon, they, they say they get no respect. 34th in the coaches poll. Well, there's some interesting facts about this ball game, Chris. Oregon is 8-1 since their last loss to UCLA. UCLA has beaten Oregon six of the last seven times. Now, UCLA has beaten the best the Pac-10 and the SEC has to offer. But this is a special note. Last week, UCLA received 1,400... 1,042 coaches points. Oregon received 17. 17. Oregon is favored. Somebody knows something that I don't know, sweetheart. Sweetheart, that means stay tuned, right, my friend? Stay tuned. We'll stay tuned for later in the show. I think one of the keys in this football game, home field advantage favoring the Oregon Ducks. Watch the first 15 minutes, crucial. UCLA has struggled early in all three of their first three games. They had to come back to win these games. Meanwhile, the Ducks, they get off to a quick start. They've outscored their opponents 26 to nothing in the first quarter. UCLA on the road for the first time all year cannot afford to get on the road and get down early, especially with this kind of crowd in this stadium. It will be something they won't be able to come back from. They'll be hearing this. Let's do this again. Yes. Pilates yeah, says the same thing about his team. They've fallen way behind UCLA the last couple of meetings, and they have fallen short. You're first right. Watch, minutes watch the first quarter. I think you can already tell here we can shoot down a misconception. Pac-10 football is not laid back, low-key, lovey-dovey. You might be surprised how deep the passions run up here. They hate Oregon State. They hate Washington. They don't like UCLA. There's friction among the fans and the players, and also in the case of this game, in the coaching staff. And Maurice Morris is the guy in the ground for Oregon. We'll talk more about him coming up. They are ready for this game. <laughs> we got guys in barrels and white feeders. It's cold, I'm telling you, it's cold out here. These folks back here are a big factor in this game as well. Many, many skeptical visitors have come into this stadium, asked Michigan State a couple years ago, and they have been humbled by Austin Stadium. This place is an underground field with an underground following. No fooling. It ranks right up there. The Gators' Swamp. The Seminoles' Chop Shop. The Huskers' Big Red House. The Ducks' Pond. Huh? Austin Stadium rocks. All right there on top of you. There's no track. Uh, it's a hostile environment. There's no buffer area. There's a... Uh, it's simply the sideline and then the stands, and they, they sit right on top of you. Come to Austin Stadium, be better prepared to have a silent count. The outs and legend grew in 94 when Washington and Arizona were back-to-back -back upset victims on the Ducks' path to Pasadena. The current win streak stands at 16. Our house is something we defend. I love Austin. I mean, I wouldn't play for any other stadium in the world. Two straight comebacks for Oregon against UCLA have come up short. But they've won 16 straight home games. UCLA needs to win a road game to show, to show they have respect. Corso's been right 14 straight times with the headgear. What happens today? Kirk, you're first. Well, I think that the key in this football game is the defense. It can prevent the big play. That's something that has hurt Oregon at times this year. UCLA needs to start well early. That's something that has hurt them. I think the difference in the game is very simple. These people right here, home field advantage. The Ducks beat the Bruins. Oh, nice pick, sweetheart. Nice pick. How about this one? Lee, the win streak's on the line here. <laughs> Orso's had some close calls this season with Nebraska and Florida the last couple of weeks. He says the Bruins go down. Win number 17 at home for Oregon. All we want 
is a classic like the last couple of years here.